So, um, <laughs> I gotta say, this is probably one of the, the funnest moments as a, a director, is that I do like to get my hands dirty, and I absolutely got my hands very bloodied uh, earlier today, preparing the, uh, preparing the Limehouse District uh, morgue uh, scene that we have here. So, there has been a terrible murder. It's one of several terrible murders in the film. And uh, this really is, it's a very traditional Sherlock Holmes mystery, but one of the things that I, I really wanted to emphasize was the elements of horror. So there's elements of, of Grand Guignol. It does feel, in many ways, kind of like a bit of a hammer film as well. We're taking that approach to it. Um, but we're shooting right now in, in one of my favorite locations. Those of you who have seen Canucula, um, Dracula in Canada will recognize this as Dracula's lair. Well, it's the basement of a fantastic old school. Uh, and this basement has just been left as is. The rest of the building has been renovated for the most part, but this particular location is creepy. Uh, there are spiders and scorpions, and I don't like spiders very much, and all kind of strange... Watch out, this one on your shoulder. Ah, no! And, and, and see, as I was referring to, there's all kind of strange critters lurking about the here. <coughs> Yes, yes, so, so this, is, this is production day, I don't know what production day it is, but of, of, uh, of Sherlock Holmes and the Shadow Watchers, but this morning we filmed uh, our exteriors at 221B Baker Street. Uh, I showed up at the door of a lovely couple who just happened to be from Manchester, which is where I was born, here in town, and they had a perfect home uh, that uh, subbed in for the Baker Street exteriors, and they were kind enough to open their doors and let us come in to do some shooting today. Action! To a blood soaked carriageway in close court. Cabby! That was terrible. That was <laughs> I like that <laughs> one. Riding on a high from that, now we're going to play around with some dead bodies. So, uh, Terry, tell us a little bit about uh, your experience thus far with, uh, with the production and, and where you are right now, both of you can. Uh... Well, it's, it's, it was, so far it's been very enjoyable. We have done mostly uh, exterior shots, but it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. and. Uh, I think it's going re rather well as well, so uh, I'm really enjoying uh, Watson so far, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting eager to, to get to the meat of the meat of the production. So, 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 so what's happening right here, uh, Ian, in this particular scene? Well, we've got the uh, dead body of the murdered victim uh, in multiple parts, and uh, the killer has done quite a good job in dismemberment. So. So, 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 so Watson, uh, having uh, having been involved in the medical profession for so many decades, is this this is startling to uh, to Watson. This is what sorry. This is this is startling to Watson. Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, his first reaction is that um, uh, have we got two bodies here? And of course, e even being even s having served in Afghanistan, I don't think he's ever seen anything quite this. Well, not deliberate like this. I mean, okay, yes, warfare is one thing, but uh, an actual dis embodiment like this is, yeah, it's going to be quite startling to, even to him. And uh, again, as always, thank you very much for, uh, for checking us out. We're really excited about the film and uh, we hope that you'll keep checking back in in, uh, in the very near future because uh, what, 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 what are you both up to? Do you, do you, see, do you see what I have to deal with? <laughs> <laughs> it's elementary, my dear.